This is a huge topic and I just felt like it was my responsibility to make a video on this. I know just how detrimental living paycheck to paycheck can be and I know what it can do to individuals and even entire families. I mean, they're known for giving people anxiety because they're literally just getting by and it seems like the money just won't stretch from one paycheck to another. And they know that they're screwed if they miss even one paycheck. And the stress that living paycheck to paycheck causes actually poses risk for other health conditions which, you guessed it, costs even more money. It's scary. And what's even scarier is realizing just how many people are living paycheck to paycheck. In America alone, 78% of workers are living paycheck to paycheck and 69% have less than $1,000 in their savings account, a recipe for disaster. And the sad thing, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, nine times out of 10, it is your fault. Don't believe me? Check this out. Yeah, I know. But even if it isn't your fault that you're living paycheck to paycheck, it is your responsibility to get out of living paycheck to paycheck. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that. An ongoing theme in this video is going to be discipline and having a strong money mindset. Without these, the steps I'm about to go over are gonna be very difficult. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is watch your bank account on a daily basis so you can really understand exactly what is going in and out of your bank account. A big issue here is most people are thrown off guard by a bill even though it occurs at the same time each month or even each year. The goal here is to anticipate the bill before it hits so that you can then assign money to that bill before it even comes. And if you do this, you'll also see the difference between how much you spend on needs versus how much you spend on unnecessary expenses. And trust me, we all spend money on unnecessary expenses. For example, cable, fast food, paid subscriptions. By the way, it's free to subscribe to this channel. You've also got smartphones, that coffee from Starbucks, you get the idea. These small expenses won't make you go broke single-handedly, but if you're already in a financial situation and you so happen to have these expenses on top of your other bills, it's literally like pouring gas on a fire that you've been trying to put out. Now this is part of the video where most people are gonna roll their eyes at. Living paycheck to paycheck is no joke and it is 100% a serious issue and it should be treated as such. Living paycheck to paycheck threatens your livelihood and whenever something threatens your livelihood, you need to go into what I call survival mode. This means making sacrifices and making it to where you only are doing the requirements for your survival which requires you to further minimize your expenses beyond what I've already advised. That's selling clothes that you don't need. That's not eating out until you're out of this financial rut. That's learning how to do certain things yourself instead of paying someone else for doing it for you. That means making your own coffee, making your own food, cutting your own hair, working out at home. As a matter of fact, this quarantine should have helped everyone get pretty good at that. Even I recently just cut my own hair. I mean, in my last video, I, I looked like poof, like, you know, I looked like who did it and what for, you know what I'm saying? But now, you know, got the clean look back. <laughs> and if you want to take this even a step further, don't go grocery shopping for a whole month. This is why I said people are going to roll their eyes at this part of the video. But hey, look, seriously, don't go grocery shopping for a whole month. Trust me, I know it sounds crazy, but if money is tight, I promise you, you can go a full month without going grocery shopping, and here's how. Many of us have dry foods just lying around like rice, beans, noodles, stuff like that, and they last four weeks, and half the time we forget we even have them in our cabinets. Just that alone, you can live off of that for a whole month if you had to. This is if money is really tight. It's not the most luxurious thing, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're trying to get out of it, you're not in a position to have luxury right now. You're just not. It's not the most tasty thing in the world to eat rice and beans and noodles and all that stuff, but you can save a decent amount of money just doing that. And my list for cutting expenses goes on and on, but for time's sake, I will not go through every single idea that I have for cutting expenses, because honestly, it gets pretty ridiculous. You're welcome. In all seriousness, in conjunction with minimizing your expenses, you're gonna to wanna to figure out a way to make more money quickly and legally. And just on a serious note real quick, the reason why I mention the word legally is because it's been historically proven that in times of need, people go through desperate measures to get money and that includes illegal and degrading types of work. I'm not even going to get into that. That said, the quickest way that you can make money like probably today if you wanted to is selling stuff that you don't need. I'm talking clothes, shoes, jewelry, technology, whatever it is that you have that you don't really need that holds value, sell it. 
trust me, you can make some good money off of that. Outside of that, you can cut people's grass, you can paint people's houses, you can babysit for people, you can walk people's dogs. You can do a lot of stuff, especially when you include houses. There's a ton of stuff you can do. Yard work, you could do car washes, you could do pressure washing. I mean, you can, the, the list is just endless. You can even clean the inside of people's houses for them because there's a bunch of busy people who don't have the time to clean their houses and they'd much rather just pay someone to do it for them. That's where you come in. And, and guys, keep in mind, there is no shame. There is completely zero shame in doing any of this. You have to keep in mind your and your family's future. And that requires you to grind. And if you're in a financial situation right now and you're listening to my advice and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I'm not going to do that. You need to reassess your financial mindset. You just do. This stuff is not easy, nor did I say it was going to be easy, but it is a very small price to pay for a peace of mind. And of course, another way of making extra money is just picking up another job and typically a, a part-time job on top of your full-time job. This one out of every single option I've just listed is by far the most exhausting and will require the most of your time. But when you're doing something that's worth it, there's nothing wrong with being a little exhausted. Like again, that is a very small price to pay for the results that you're gonna have in the future. To put it into perspective, I know exactly what it's like to be super exhausted. I used to have to work 12 hours a day every single day seven days a week and I would maybe get one to two days off every few months I know what it's like to be exhausted but you know what at the end of the day it's going to be worth it you also have the options of a side hustle also known as like a side business and I'm not talking about those side hustles that require hundreds of dollars up front or hundreds of dollars a month to maintain I'm talking about stuff that's free or maybe at the most $20 to start. For example, I played on the drum line in college, so I made a side hustle of teaching high schoolers how to become college drummers because I've had that experience. It costed nothing at all to start, generated hundreds of dollars. But I have a whole video talking about that, so if you wanna check that out, please do. But also another example of a side hustle is blogs. And it, it'll take a while to generate income from it, but again, costs absolutely nothing to make. YouTube, another one, takes a while to build, but when it starts generating, it really starts generating income. And of course, on top of this, you have stuff like Amazon, Amazon MTurk, Amazon Affiliate Marketing. Again, the list of side hustles you can do are endless, but just keep in mind they take the longest to generate any type of income and they require an extreme amount of patience. So if you have a pre-existing talent such as my pre-existing talent of drumming, which took years to develop, at least now you can have a service to people where you teach people how to do whatever it is that you know how to do. That would be the quickest side hustle income you could generate. But yes, those are all things that I have tried. But let's rewind a little bit. Remember back when I said that if you're living paycheck to paycheck nine times out of 10, it's your fault? Here's exactly why. In order to live paycheck to paycheck, that means your expenses either have to match or exceed your income which means you have too many expenses. Typically speaking, housing is the largest of all these expenses, but then there's also car payments. There's also having several items on your credit card that you haven't paid off yet. Having the latest, newest, cutting edge technology cell phones, expensive shoes, expensive clothes, the latest gaming console, Stuff like this is why people live paycheck to paycheck. And the two biggest ones, housing and car payments, those right there are, can be difficult to get out of. But the main reason I bring these up is because they all have one thing in common. They're all keeping up with appearances. That really nice house you have, that really nice apartment you have, that really nice car you have. Stuff that you don't need at the level that you have them, but you have them and now they're costing you money and causing you to live paycheck to paycheck. And I guarantee the average person who lives paycheck to paycheck owns most of the items I just listed. But wait, on top of that, there's debt. On top of that, there's picking up McDonald's or Chick-fil-A on the way home from work. These also add up. And it, it gets us into the mindset of spending money that we don't have on a regular basis. And then we wonder why we're living paycheck to paycheck. That's the only reason that I'm bringing all this stuff at once up. It's because, yes, there are some legitimate cases where the, the person has no choice but to live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, whatever happened in the past that is making it this way now, but for majority of the people who live paycheck to paycheck today, it is 
for the most part, their fault that they're living there. And I'm giving you these harsh truths so that you can then address these head on and get out of your current situation. And, and here's the thing. Most of the time when people are spending money that they don't have on stuff and doing it regularly is because they're operating under the notion of, I deserve this. I work hard for this. And just to be frank, that is not a smart way of approaching this. It's just not. And that's a mindset that I want to discourage anyone who's watching this video from thinking. Once you're able to minimize your expenses and make more money, this is what you need to do. You need to take any extra money that you have. So any extra money that you saved or any extra money that you made this month, put it towards debt or towards savings. And if you're not sure which one to prioritize, I have an entire video going over different scenarios of when to prioritize which one and how to balance both out so that you're not putting money towards one and not the other. And when we're talking about putting extra money towards debt, this is under the assumption that you're already paying the minimum payment for your debt within your paycheck to paycheck cycle. So any money that I advise to put extra towards debt, that's literally it, is putting extra towards the minimum payment that you're already paying for your debt. Just so we're clear there. That on top of saving extra money by minimizing your expenses as much as possible, you'll be able to save a couple of hundred dollars per month, which would turn into a few thousand dollars if you do it over a consistent amount of time. And theoretically speaking, you will then have a reserve of money that is in your savings account for emergencies, financial inconveniences, stuff like that so that you won't have to always reach directly out of pocket, so to speak, for these expenses. And that will help you along the way of getting out of being paycheck to paycheck because then you'll have a whole other reserve of finances to reach into in the case of an emergency. And that in itself gives you a peace of mind. And if you're unsure of how much money you should be saving or aiming to save, I would say anywhere between $2,500 and $5,000. And then after you get there, you won't have to save so aggressively, but I would recommend keep going. See how much you can stack up and save because you really never know what's going to happen. So once you're in a position that you're either making or saving or both an extra few hundred dollars per month, the idea is that now you have more now you have money left over at the end of the month. So now you're not living paycheck to paycheck. But then it's also a mindset of, okay, how can I further it? How can I improve? How can I get out of debt and save at the same time? Those are the questions that you want to ask yourself. And again, I have several videos on every single topic that I've mentioned in this video. So if you want to get out of this and if you're really serious about getting out of being paycheck to paycheck, Trust me, this channel will help you out. Specifically, how to budget, how to save, how to invest, how much money should be in your checking account, how much money should you aim to save, stuff like that. Trust me, it's a plethora of videos on this channel. Check them out. But once you do get out of your financial situation, that should drive you to never enter this financial situation ever again. And you should always strive to improve, read up on finances, figure out what to invest in. Once you're in a position to invest, figure out how to uh, tighten up your budget even more. Figure out what apps do I use to budget better. You know, there's there's budgeting. There's a budgeting app video that I made specifically that tells you how to track your expenses, how to make the best budget possible for you, how to save more without you even putting your mental capacity into it. It just does it automatically for you. Stuff like that is going to help you in your financial journey. And as long as you develop an improvement mindset and a learning mindset and the how can I become better type of a mindset you're always going to be moving forward in your financial journey and not backwards. But that pretty much wraps up this video and that is exactly how you get out of living paycheck to paycheck. It's not a beautiful story by any means. It's, it's a story full of struggles and you know, it's gonna be a story full of sacrifices and going without and you're gonna have to delay your gratification because there's gonna be some cases where you wanna eat a certain thing or if you wanna buy a certain thing and <laughs> And you know you financially can't do that or you're going to be stepping backwards so you you really have to you really have to test your own discipline with that and you're going to grow a lot as a person by doing this but that is the video thank you so much for coming to this channel my name is reggie bryant and this channel is all about personal growth and personal finance so that you can control you control your finances and control your life there are many 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 more videos to come so if this video added value to you, consider subscribing. There's a ton of videos just like it and it's going to add as much value to you as possible. Thank you so much for watching.